give you guys a quick walk around before we leave the shop here just gave it a quick spray off still waiting on a name if you guys think of any good names uh, leave it in the comments below so I'm just gonna top off the, the drive oil before we head out today heading out on the Detroit River this boat is a 2002 super clean these engines only have 60 hours on them the boat has 511 hours on it so far we've been out about four times it's been flawless no issues uh, hit a top speed of 84 in the channel about 82 going the other way against the current so so far this boat has just been phenomenal nothing but great we'll get some more shots later today we'll get some high speed runs in the channel we'll get a nice walk around a tour of the cabin show you guys the whole boat the whole run around it's a beautiful boat the trailer started to clean up real nice still got to scrub it a little bit more the truck could use a wash also all right see you guys at the launch about to hit the water we got about 10 15 mile an hour winds you can see from the flag over there it's, it's a little windy should be a little rough and a little choppy out there probably one to three foot waves but that's what this thing's for right we got uh, we got a big boat with uh, with a lot of power so we'll see how it is we'll see if we can get some uh, some top speed runs in the channel today we'll see how it goes uh, this thing really likes the chop to be honest about you know one one footer going through about 50 60 miles an hour really it's just cruising it's it's pretty smooth you wouldn't even notice so get these transom straps off real quick get the drain plug out get everything ready more footage once we fire this thing up and get on the water. Nice shot of these engines now in the sun. Now the back's all the way open. Don't mind our uh, our bimini top. Have to get some new some new straps soon. But these things, the exhaust is really shining right now. They look beautiful. So we're gonna go out on the channel, the shipping lane, and uh, the winds kind of calmed down a little bit. So we'll see if we can get a a nice 80, 82 mile an hour uh, run down the channel. 83, 84 today on the channel. We got a full tank and it's very hot and humid. So I'd be happy to see 82. 82. See if these, uh, these old girls got them. out there yeah it's usually this side is busy but the other side going out to Erie usually isn't that bad yeah so we got the uh, the GPS app
out of the Trent Channel and then go into the Detroit River, go past Fighting Island, go by the Rouge Steel Mill. Uh, a lot of cool industrial buildings over there. Got a full tank of gas, so about a thousand pounds extra on board right now. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Get the tabs down so we can get this thing up on plane quicker. We'll see what it does on the GPS with the GoPro. Okay. Uh, depending how close we get to Canada, it, uh, it messes with the signal, so yeah. we'll, we'll see what it does.
spot there. I would say that was, you know, three, four footers easily. Yeah, there's swell, you know. The water's real confused under the bridge because uh, it gets so narrow, it pushes everything together. So you get all these confused waves. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to read. Well, they're good today though, because they're, they're, they're a little more spaced out, you know? Not a bad little cruise. Another successful day. I think it went pretty well. It's pretty hot out. A little choppy when we got out there. It was probably five, ten mile an hour winds. Maybe a little stronger. I don't know. Maybe one to two foot waves when we first got out there under the bridge. We got about three, four foot rollers. But this thing handled pretty well. We were able to hit 82, I believe, in the channel. But I mean, it just cruises at 60 like nothing. Right through the chop. It's a beautiful boat.